All right, all right, you guys. Uh, I'm the one and only. My name is Quez, and I am doing interviews for Pride on the Vine. This is Pride on the Vine 4.0, and uh, I have somebody really, really uh, that's dope here in the community. Uh, she does a lot. She has her own business. She's going to talk about her business and talk about a little bit about the Vogue. Vogue and the ballroom scene actually and so we're doing something big this year. We're having our Vogue competition So she we're gonna get into all of that in this interview. How you doing? I'm great. How are you? I am doing good So tell the people what what who, who am I interviewing today? What's your name? Well, I am the legendary the legendary <laughs> Gigi Balenciaga. Yes, okay So before we even get into the interview explain like the name Balenciaga let them know what the name come from well Balenciaga is a iconic uh, fashion house, of course, um, and it's also my home in, in ballroom. I recently became a Balenciaga last year in 2023. Previously, I was overall mother Chanel. I started off in ballroom as a con um, about 14 years ago wow. here in Kansas City. So you've been doing this for a long time. A very long time. Okay, so let's let's get into, so let's go to, what do you do now here in Kansas City? What is your daily life? What do you do? We are in your shop, which is fabulous. Thank you. Um, what do you do here in Kansas City? I am a licensed esthetician and a master permanent makeup artist. I own Glam by Gigi Beauty Bar. I'm also the first in the city to have a mobile salon. Okay. So I yes. launched that last yes. year in 2023 as yes. well. So we do mobile services uh, for events, weddings, uh, corporate events, mm -hmm. you name it, we come to you. Dope, dope, dope. And we'll make sure we have all your contact information sure. for people. Sure. So what made you just get into like the whole ballroom scene? Let's talk about that. Well. Actually, it initiated from a Pride event. Mm -hmm. um, back in, I believe it was 06, or I believe it was 06. Um, we had a our first ball for Pride here, mm -hmm. and I was just a spectator at the time, and I just happened to bring my camera, mm -hmm. and I recorded it. And I had a blast. I, I didn't walk that night, I just spectated. And back then, that's when YouTube had first started. Mm -hmm. And not a, well, a lot of people know, but not a lot of people know. I used to go by the page name One Fag Hag. Whoa, whoa, okay. And so there's probably over two or 3,000 videos wow. on YouTube where you can see Kansas City's history in ba in ballroom that you through did. my recordings. You just, so you just put I, something that I didn't yes, get me some tea. Honey. I'm prior to ballroom throwbacks, by wow. the way. Yes. Wow. Yes. What do you think about the evolution of the Vogue and the ballroom, the ballroom scene? What do you think about where it came from and to where it is now? I, I believe it has evolved. It, it definitely has evolved. It went from an underground. Which the people don't know, it started in New York. Absolutely, it started in New York and it was underground and it was a way for the young gay community to gather and have something to do and have family. Basically, um, a lot of kids didn't, were homeless. They didn't have, they were kicked out of their homes. They didn't have loved ones that cared and they became their own community. So it became, and that's what I was trying to explain to my friends, houses. Yes, so yes. So explain what the house mother is because you are the mother of the house. Mm -hmm. So explain that to the people. Well, basically a house mother is like your mother. And back traditionally in the beginning, the kids lived with their mothers. Um, they taught them different ways to survive, whether good or bad. Um, they, it was, it's a means of survival, pooling together your resources and living a life, a, a family. Mm -hmm. and, and then they also at night would go to the competitions. Okay, so that's, in, in, in that Barbara. leads us into the competitions. Mm -hmm. So, so basically, if people don't know, so you get these guys, these girls, whoever they are, who basically might have got kicked out their house, mm -hmm. of their parents' house. Yes. So that's why houses was formed back in these days. Yes. But then you needed something to do. And you watch a lot of movies. Uh, we, what's that one show that was on, um, 
was it legendary, HBO legendary or, mm-hmm, and uh, pose pose and yes. pose really pose it really explained yes what the, the ballroom scene was so that leads into the ballroom uh, I've seen you in action I, when we do this we're going to like play a little clip of that with this video sure that's going to be so funny to see you in okay. action We got you in action, but tell the people how intense these competitions get. Well, <laughs> there I think people don't realize there's a lot of preparation that goes into ballroom, and depending on what your category is, it can also be extremely expensive. Um, speaking for my own category, you know, it, it's funny because you, you, you never want to be caught in the same gown twice. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so you, you're, you're doing a new look every time. It yes. has to be unique. Yes. You have to go with what the category is calling for. Mm-hmm. So a lot of these designs and, and effects are custom made. Mm-hmm. Um, if you're crafty, and a lot of gay people in the community yeah. are very crafty yes. and they're very talented. And so there's a lot of talent that goes let's into talk these about categories. That. They make their own outfits a lot of times. Absolutely. Absolutely. They do their own hair a lot of times. Yes. Makeup. Makeup, Yes. (laughs) And then you have different people. And what's great about being in a house is you have all these different talented people in the house. You know, one person may do hair, yes. one person does makeup, one person yes. sews, yes. you know, one person's a choreographer. You know, you have all these different talented people in a house, and that kind of what makes the house great. So we're introducing, we're not doing no whole ballroom, ballroom, okay? Mm-hmm. We're not, well, I want to give Pride on the Vine just a little taste mm-hmm. of what it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, the category is bring a fan, all right? You said bring, bring, a, bring, bring a fan. Bring a, bring a bring fan. Bring a okay, fan. Okay, so that's okay. the, they yeah. have to show out and yeah. show up in front of you guys. And we're opening up for, for everybody. But I, I I had this crazy thought in my head. I'm like, okay, Gigi has to be a judge. Okay. What are you expecting from these people that's going to be entering this competition? And we're giving away a cash prize to them too. Okay. So let them know what you're looking for as a judge. Tell, tell them what you're going to be wanting from them and tell them how much this is really something good for 18th and Vine for them to be doing this too. Well, I love that it's on 18th and Vine because that's history yeah. you know, in the yes. black community. Yes. And to bring our culture and the gay community to the black community is, I mean, it's a wonderful yes. thing. As, now, as a legendary judge, legendary. okay, Get that right. Legendary. (laughs) Um, As a judge, what I'm always looking for is uniqueness, um, effort, showing showmanship. I want to see a show, put on a show, go outside of the box, entertain, but know your category. Um, I'm kind of also legendary for chopping here in Kansas City as well. Explain what a chop is. Explain. Tell the people what a chop is because I was showing the video guy how mm-hmm. I was showing him like a literally ballroom scene. Mm-hmm. He was like, oh my God. Some people didn't have the chance to even get down though before they got chopped. So explain what the chop is because we are we, we will have a chop. Okay. Explain what that is. Well, basically in ballroom, you either get tens when you, when you first come out. Ten across you, the board. Across, you, get, you get your tens or you get chopped. Either we see it or we don't. Mm -hmm. There is no gray area. Mm -hmm. So if the category is calling for a fan and you come out and you have no fan, it's a chop, (laughs) period. No matter Um, they look nice. I I don't (laughs) don't care how fab you are. I don't care who you are. It's a chop. Category is a fan. And I said what I said. That's what she says on the video. And when y'all see it, while you talking, we're going to like pause and we're going to put that video with this video. Right. And Uh, you're going to laugh. Again, where can they find you at? Um, they can find me here on 63rd and Rock Hill at Glam by Gigi Beauty Bar. It's uh, 751 East 63rd Street, Suite 103. And guess what, you guys? She will be there. She's not only going to be a judge, she's going to have the beauty bar there, right? Yes, we will have the mobile beauty bar. It's Glam and Go 
Glam and Go uh, Mobile Beauty Bar. All right, so y'all, are you going to be doing glam there? Because you know they might, you might. What about these contestants? What they want to get touched up before before the event? Well. I will be there during the day, mm -hmm. so if they want to come see me in the mobile unit, mm -hmm. they absolutely can. All right, all right, yeah, I heard it first. Thank you for this wonderful interview. Thank, thank you, you very thank you. much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you too. My name is Quez. Make sure you go get your tickets now while they're on sale. They're only $10 to get into Pride on the Vine right now. It's going to be $15 at the door. Don't wait to get your tickets. Thank you. Peace.